Generic greetings! Airship Conquer the Skies is now out in version 8 and it doesn't really add a lot of developer generated content. The main thing is modding, so the ability to mod the game and add the Steam Workshop and things like that, which means at some point we're going to get loads of really awesome mods. In fact, there's several ones on there now, which is really cool, but I thought I would try some of the additions. There's a couple and uh, one of them contains like Spiderbot, so let's try this out. Let's go to Conquest and to New Game. I'll have a sip of beverage while we do this. Mm. Ah, today's beverage is a nice cup of tea. So, <clears throat> I think we want to go for no tutorial. We want to go for easy mode and medium style map. Actually, we'll make it medium difficulty. Why not? And not easy because I haven't played in a while. Uh, we're going to be the genericans as we always are. Genericans. And we do need to edit our coat of arms. So, what have we got? Um, steel armor boost. We've got a uh, boss head. Is the yeah the dragons in here? Look, uh, no bonus implemented yet. Although I am aware that Alpha Nine, I believe, is monsters. So dragons and Cthulhu and Lovecraft stuff, and that's really weird and cool. I think we'll go for spider leg. Give us spider legs. No, a lion. Uh, fast reload speed in boarding combat. That's really good for boarding stuff. <sighs> what do we want? I think we're just gonna go with the standard. Which is probably scales. 25% income from cities. Because then we can make all the stuff that we need. And then we obviously we need to change the uh, colours. So that will probably do us. Save and quit. Right, so the genericans. Let's start this off. We will go to start game. And it will randomly generate the map. And then obviously we have to see where we're going to be. And see what towns we're going to attack. And things like that. So... We are, pause for the, ooh, good grief. We'll pause for the moment. We are, where are we? We're on the bottom left. This is good because we can attack uh, all of these ones without having to worry about getting attacked uh, and worrying about our borders. Also, you can see that there's no land going directly to us, so we have to make airships. Let's go to build ship. And no, we don't want to build ship. Oh, God. There's the, don't think of a working turn, the Ram Flaming turn. <laughs> Uh, the Gav Rock, uh, the Rock Fling Fighterington, oh my god, Rocket Fighterington, the Spiderington, they're all in there. I think we're going to go to uh, Design... Design Ship. Okay. What we want is we want to check out the weapons, because there's a couple of new weapons. Oh, there's one new weapon, I believe. If we go for a... Let's have a quick look. It'll be in the weapons. There it is there. Oh no, that's Dorsal and Ventral Turret. There, Deck Gun. Deck gun is similar to the dorsal and uh, ventral turret, but it can't go back. So it's just sort of a, a gun that goes forward and back. So we've got a gun flipped, which goes back. So you can have that. So you can actually make like a weird tank type thing. Well, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do something like this. And we want a dorsal turret underneath. That's the idea of this. What we'll have is we will get rid of that piece. And then we will have, I think, a... I think we'll have a standard... We're not going to go for a bridge, but we want a... Do we have... We need some sort of structural stuff. Where's structural? Structural, we want a corridor, which will go up like that. Because, actually, no, we'll get rid of that. Do we have... Anything to do... Uh, cockpit... Crow's nest, there we go. We can put a crow's nest up the top there. And then we'll put another gun... Deck gun flip there. Right, that's the overall... Yeah, the design, excellent. Logistics, right. Uh, bridge, no. Cockpit, yes. Cockpit doesn't have anywhere to go up, so we'll probably put it there. Actually, no, we'll put it further forward to there. But we do need several pieces of equipment. There's an engine pod, which is one of the new ones as well. It goes, like, underneath, which... Well, underneath or on the top, it is, it is right. It is just that. It's an engine pod, which we're going to use to... I don't know where we'll put it on the bottom or not. We'll see. I might just put an engine at the back here as normal. We want to go for a... Well, we need lots of things. We need uh, propulsion, ammunition, crew, and somewhere to fly. Let's work on probably lift. So that's a large suspendium tank. That's a pressurized suspendium tank. Pressurized suspendium tanks are really good, but if they blow up, then they don't half. E they really do explode. Like it's it's a fairly big bang. We could put one of them in, but uh, large suspendium chamber that is quite large, isn't it? I think we'll go for a small one like that and. It does have some lift. This is good. We will go for, I think, one of these corridors all the way down like that. And then, actually, we'll pull that bridge up and put it there. <clears throat> I need a propeller. Uh, probably propeller there, maybe? That will do it for now. And then, what's the service ceiling? 180 meters. That's actually quite high. Ammo store. There. Okay, that's quite big. Yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Coal store. 
could go there. No, that's far too big. We don't need a coal. We don't need a coal star that big, but we do need uh, probably a corridor going down like that, and then coal on either side. Quarters on one side. There we go. That's probably enough people. And then maybe. Still know where to command it yet, but we'll sort that out in a moment. We need coal. I think that's too much ammo. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that much ammo. Or do we? We've got a lot of guns, so let's try it. Uh, we need... Coal store. Cargo bay door. Small coal store. One of them. That should do us. And we need... Some way of giving commands to the ship. It's saying we don't have any hatches, so we need to sort that out as well. We'll go for... Command and crew go for a cockpit, which will go there. And then we want to go back to guns, weapons, and then a ventral turret, which can go right on the bottom there. Can you do you have access to that? I think we do. Uh, ship needs more supply hatches, and its service ceiling is dangerously low of 12 meters. Yeah, maybe having that is not a good idea. So we'll have it as that, I think. That should do us quite nicely. We could put bomb bays on there, though. No, we can't because you need access from the top. Okay, we can't do that either. Hmm. And we can't really put deck guns there because they go up. We don't have a deck gun on the bottom. I think then, just supply hatches and we're done. And we'll try this new thing out and we'll do a bit of swarming in town. How much does it cost? Oh, it's quite cheap as well. Don't know how good these cannons are, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is one of the things I like about it. You just You just play around and see what happens. We'll put one there. That's the only supply hatch we need, actually. So this is good. Actually, get rid of that. Put it there. Get rid of that, move it there. Job done. I think we'll do that. There we go. There is our fairly crap ship, but it's uh, it's there. Service ceiling, 36 meters, standard armor. I could put a large mouth on it, like that. And uh, do you need a wooden nameplate? It's called Malice. We're going to call it Gav, generic uh, airborne vessel or generic... Uh, airship vehicle, whatever you would like to call it, and we'll call it the, um, I have no idea. <laughs> what the hell does that look like? That's just, uh, it's a block Gunnington. It's a block Gunnington. There we go, the block Gunnington, which, uh, the Gav block Gunnington goes actually over this thing, so we need a, we need a large one of these, which actually goes over. We can't have the name on it. It's just not going to work. Right, we're going to save the design. Block Gunnington, save that. And then we will build one. So there we go. And we will say, yes, build it. Thank you very much. And then we'll unpause it. And we'll see what happens with the enemy. Because obviously they're going to try and move around and attack. So we got how many nations? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nations in total. And we've got one of them ships. We've built it. So we're going to go to uh, build ship. We're going to build... Oh, we can't build another one. How much have we got so far? Plus 79 coming in a turn. This is good. I want to probably uh, build ship, uh, block Gunnington again. It's actually a cheap ship, and you can select like different names and stuff, but that will be okay. What have we got so far? We've got the Eldritch. Interesting. Looks like they've got some attacking going around here. What I'll do is I'll wait until their vehicle goes over there. Looks like they've been taken out. What I want to do then is invade. This is good because they actually know what we want to do is invade that one because they can't come towards this one because they've only got ground vehicles. Interesting. So they've got a nice defensive structure there with some uh, some of them dorsal gun things. Okay, so <clears throat> I want to move the Eldritch because it's a bit too it's going to say a bit too low. What's it do? It's got an engine pod. It's got a gun on the front, two other guns. It's just a long gun platform, that's all it is. And these ones I'll move up to there. And we will start. So it is currently raining. Uh, whoa, there's the shots going out. Look at that. That's working out. Looks like we've got no targets available for these other ones, but I'm going to select them and then I'm going to move them. I'm going to say move there, please. And they obviously will go forward and it means I won't get attacked um, from all of the front guns, which I assume... Oh, no, it's, it's actually symmetrical, that thing. So we're going to get attacked from either side. So it doesn't really matter where we go. Either way, we do want to go further down, like so. There you go. At least you can click and drag and select them all, which is good. Yeah, we're actually attacking them quite good here. What I'm going to do is set all of these to uh, rapid fire. There we are. And, oh, I think I blew some it off there. <laughs> I've always said that the game is not the best looking in the world. But it's got one of... The, it's got a lot of detail in it. A lot of detail. But it's got its charm. It is very charming. And I say it's not. 
it's nice, you know, there's some nice lighting on and stuff like that. Either way, we took that out, and as you can see, uh, it's surrendered, and we've survived that, and we will do a gentle takeover, and we just need to wait. Wait for that, because I don't really want to go any further forward. We're going to go to build ship again, and we're going to build another one of them, Block Gunningtons. Yes, we will accept all of that, and then I will move it over. <clears throat> 116 every turn. This is good. And build ship. Once more. Block Gunnington. Then I'll meet them up together. And then we'll go in. Obviously, I don't really need to worry too much about this side. Because they can't attack me with their ground vehicles. They've only got ground vessels. And they can only go that way. Because you can see the road. So, yeah, this will be good. So, we'll invade them. Here we go. And we... Oh, no, 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 no. Move to there. Uh, I didn't have them all selected. Now I've got them all selected. Move over there. Haven't got any defences. Don't really care. But I'm going to take these out. So they've got... <laughs> the Herald. Which is apparently a tracked ramming vehicle. Which is almost as stupid as something I would make, really. That is um, pretty daft as a vessel. Because I'm just going to sit there and press start. And then all of these, we will say... Target that one. Because this can't do anything. Oh no, it does have a flat gun on it. It does have a flat gun on it. What if I move these down? If I move these guys down, move down like that, will the back turret be able to fire? Yes, it can. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Uh, also, I didn't think about they're going to ram me. Um, orders. Move up. Rise. Rise above it, please. Don't get shot. Oh, God. The, the, this suspendium is really dodgy. It bounces up and down all over the place. Anyway, it looks like we're attacking that quite well. They have got... Uh, oh, still got some crew. That's ground. That's on fire now. Oh, yeah, that's working out quite well. I want to move... I want to just gently go down a bit, like that. Down a bit, down a bit, down a bit. And it means we can still fire at the back here. They are still flacking the Eldritch. And this one is getting hit quite badly, you see. What I'll do is I'll move the Eldritch further forward to about there. And then I'll move this one to about there. All right? Because then the, hopefully the back turret will be able to get it. And this one we want to also move it as well to there. It looks like they're going to try and ram us. And it's not working out. It looks like they're shouting, hooray! It looks like I think I, oh, yeah, I took that one out. And the um, the fortress has no crew quarters. And the herald down there surrendered. I will say, okay. And then we'll do a gentle takeover. Nice! Right. Hmm. So, we have managed to take over... What? couple of things. We've taken up that one and that one. I think it's time now to design a ship. We're going to go to the design ship. And what we want to do now is use troops. Actually, it's the Arachnid Barracks. Yes, Arachnid Barracks. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, cold. Um, six light infantry equipped with grappling hooks. They're quite good. Uh, I thought there was spiders in the game. I'm sure there's some spiders, but I don't know whether that's something you have to take over. Let's cancel that. Uh, what do I? What do I get if I take that one over? Um, send a spy. Send a spy. See what we get if we take these over. We get a Gatling gun from there. That's rockets. We'll send a spy for each one of these. Because if one of these has the spider creatures, then this is good. That is um, cheap wood, computers, suspendium cannon, and cheap stone. So we don't. Re we're going to just recall the spy because we're losing a lot of money. Recall all the spy. We don't really care about that. Recall that. Recall that. And recall that. So, where do I want to go? I could probably attack these. They've only got ground vehicles. But that one's I'm well, that's the one I'm worried about because uh, they've got airborne vessels. Let's have a quick look. We'll view the city and they've got... Actually, they haven't really got much at all, have they? No, we'll leave that. And it looks like there's been a lot of trading going on up there. Let's go back and we'll build. Uh, we've nicked a spider legs. Uh, we've got a large shipyard and fire extinguishers. So we're going to go for design ship. And what we want to do is get... Do we want to get boarding? Marine barracks is... Yeah, just air marines. And then arachnid barracks is six light infantry equipped with grappling hooks. But you can get... I'm sure I saw on the patch notes like a, a spidery type thing where you assault people with like a robotic spiders which can't capture the ship. They can't capture it, but they can uh, wreak havoc. It's a bit like terror drones, I think they were called, in Red Alert. But because they, could they capture? I don't think so. I think they just killed, didn't they? They jumped inside and killed everything. Anyway, we'll have one of these arachnid barracks and we'll go for... I guess we'll go for lift. Pressurized suspendium chamber. 
I'm going to regret this decision, I think, but we'll just connect them up like that. And then we'll have... Actually, we'll have two of these arachnid barracks. So, what's our lift? Service ceiling is 400 odd meters. Oh, okay. No propulsion, no supply hatches, can't give commands to it. Okay, we should probably fix that problem then. We want to go for a cargo door right at the front so we can quickly do some boarding. Or we'll go on... Yeah, we'll have one for either side there. And then we want... Definitely a coal store. A big one. And we might even go for... Uh, propulsion, large propeller, that is a big propeller, engine pod, never tried them you see, I really want to try it, get rid of these, for now, engine pod can go there, that looks cool doesn't it, can I have two engine pods like that, <gasps> you can, but then um, the great shame of it is that it can't fly, because the service ceiling is nothing because it's, uh, yeah, it's not flying. Okay, should probably fix that problem first without, without putting the engine pods on, we should probably fix the uh, the ability not to take off first. Right, um, what else do we need? Command and crew. Go for a bridge which can't go up there. Everything's going to have to go below now. Let's go for a bridge there, because you need a lot of commands early on, and we'll have a... Set of quarters there. Oh, we can't connect these up. I think we'll go for quarters there. And then we'll have some sort of connecting bay. Which will be... I'll be in structural. Close all these down. Structural corridor. There we go. On the front, we will have a gun. Because I don't know if the... I don't know if it's a. I don't think it's a bug. I just think it's, it's how it works. That if you don't have a weapon, you can't fire, and you obviously. Well, that's that. That should be obvious, but it also means that you can't. Uh, you lose immediately if you don't have a weapon, which is interesting. Let's put one there. What I'm going to do is put that there, put that there, and then move that along to there. The reason I'm doing that is I just want to um, shift these along. You see, to there, and there, and there. Okay, and then we want some ammo. That's why I've made that little gap there. I've got some gappage and elite resources. Small ammo store. Ship is too heavy to fly because we've got nothing to command, like spend it up. Spendium dust tank is there. Nah, uh, we're going to have to go with pressurized suspendium. I don't like pressurized suspendium. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be a bit cheeky and... Get rid of that. What I want is... I guess it'll be in... Structural. Struts. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Like that. And then we'll have... An engine pod on the bottom. Like so. Yep. Mm, I like it further back, sticking out the back looks cool. And then we will have on the top. Service ceiling is 200 nod meters. What if I put pressurized? I'd really regret that if I did it, surely. Um, would I regret that? Service ceiling is quite high. Um. It works, but I have a feeling that if that goes, if that blows up, we are pretty much gone. We will die immediately because these just go boom. But we shouldn't be in the fight. We should just be able to go down, attack somewhere, and drop it off. We could even put the engine up there if we wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> it, it works, actually. It fits in. Um, get rid of all that. We don't need that. And then we'll go for uh, structural corridor. Fueling it's going to be problematic, but it gets out the way. Um, right. That looks like a bit of a hot air balloon type basket thing. That's really weird. Okay, so we're going to go to armor, and currently it's made of wood. I don't think we want steel. Steel wall would be nice. Actually, yeah, actually, let's go for steel armor. And that's make it top heavy, but the service ceiling is still good enough. Nah, that's really reducing the service ceiling. We'll go for wooden. 
wooden armor like that. And then that means that it's still got a good service ceiling, but all of this bit here, the vital parts are protected. You see, the engine pod is totally unprotected. And we'll go for decoration. We'll have a, we will have a large mouth on the front of there. Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, we'll have it there. No, that looks stupid. Um, wooden nameplate. Large wooden nameplate. About there. Okay. And it's obviously going to be uh, the Gav. Hang on, hang on. Gav. Uh, spider. Probably going to blow up in ton. Yeah, probably need to rename that. Uh, Gav, um, something not something sensible. Gav Spider, because it is a spider. We've got some spider. Uh, Gav Spider Assaultington. There we go. We will save the design, save it as is, and oh, we've already got one apparently. Yeah, it's got rockets on it. We will overwrite it, and we will build one. Go. So we've actually got a spider something. And I thought that was completely random as a name, but no, apparently I use stupid names all the time. But we knew this, I guess. Got a lot of money coming in, actually. So enough to build some more of them. Let's go to uh, build ship, and we want to build another spider assaulting tin. And we'll build another one. How much are they? How much do they cost, actually? I don't know. We'll be. We'll have to see in a moment. I think it's about a grand, isn't it? Something like that. Either way, we're gonna have a fairly big fleet of these things. They are attacking up the top. What's the situation? We've still got one, two, three, four, five nations in in there. Looks like our large shipyard is going good. This one will move over to there. This one will also move over to there. And then I want to build, just to see how much it costs. It costs 1,197. We're going to build that. And you see it says like, push to Steam, uh, publish to Steam, export, and all of that. Uh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'll do that. And then, boom, I think we will invade over here. And they've got something as well. I haven't, I'm just going to view city. They've got a couple of ships. I want to probably... <clears throat> you bribe it, try and join yourself. Destroy it. Nah, it didn't work. Destroy again. Didn't work. Destroy. Didn't work. Ah, well, I'll try to destroy it. We'll leave that, and now we're going to try and see if we can take them out. Yeah, look at that. They've got a really high service ceiling. This is good. So, we've got all the little ones down the bottom, plus the Eldritch that we started off with. I really like that. It really looks pretty cool, that one. And then, look at that as well. A little crow's nest on the back. Sweet. And then we've got uh, these things, which um, obviously we need to raise up high, because we need to take stuff out. And let's start that. I really hope our things don't get attacked. This one, we want to say, board ship that. And you can see they're all going towards the front. And there you go. They've swung onto it, and they're boarding it. Okay. And there's a new boarding level, which is good. And they're swinging on board. This is good. I'm going to move down to there. This one will say board as well, that one. Board, board, board. They're not going to make it. Oh, they're swinging onto the other ship, though. Look, they're trying to swing onto the other ship. <laughs> Looks like we've captured this one. What the hell is all that banging about? Ah, it's the massive rockets over here. Rockets are not good. Ooh, rockets, rockets, rockets. They've missed. That's just a good thing. So they're firing away. I'm going to tell all of these to uh, go on to, I think, um, aimed fire, please. Same as that one. Good grief. Whatever's happening over there, it's it's been, it's loud. It's got aimed fire. Yeah, it's hitting that and absolutely wrecking them. Victory. Okay. Genericans. Our block Gunnington survived. Everything survived there. We've got no crew on the Grand Garrison. Now oh, they've got no crew on the uh, Grand Garrison. Renown is captured. Drake is surrendered. And the Great Pillar is disarmed. Okay. Brutal takeover, I think. And then we'll just invade over here. Oh, hang on. Stop, stop, stop. And we'll go back because, as you can see, they're attacking me. And it looks like they're attacking me with a couple of things. So we need to reinforce their build ship. Another... Rocket, uh, rot rocket fighterington. These are something. This is something I built before. Uh, build land ship. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, build ship. Rocket fighterington. They're just fighters with loads of rockets, and you spawn loads of them, and it's really fun to watch. So they're invading me. This is all mine. We're in the dark, and what have they got? They've got. It's a bit like the Eldridge, but it's a ram ship of some kind. And what else? Um, <coughs> they've got a little fighter thing. Okay. We will start. So there's their ram ship. Is it going to actually do the ramming? I'm guessing it's got boarding. Victory. They surrendered straight away and there they're running off. But they are coming towards me now. This other guy with some ground vehicles. It's a walker. 
Look at that. And I'm not really convinced they're going to do... M what the hell was that? Okay, I think what that <laughs> what that was probably... Um, I reckon this thing here. That was one of their airships. And it was here. I managed to hit either the suspendium chamber. I'm guessing it had suspendium chambers or pressurized ones. And it got hit and then it's just fallen out of the sky. I reckon that's what's probably happened. Looks like I might have even lost one. Oh, no. Let's move all these back because um, it's a bit violent at the moment. Let's pull back. Looks like they've surrendered. No quarters and the other one surrendered. Yes. And now they're running away. So I'm going to invade them because uh, I want to take them out. Here we go. And bump. So they've got what? A couple of tower defenses. We'll start that off. Miniguns as well. Yep. There's the miniguns. <laughs> Look at this spray. But my cannons are quite good. That is mental, that spray. There's no point in that at all. Not at that range, anyway. That's burning. See what I mean? It's not a ugly-looking game by any stretch, and it's not, like, the best-looking game ever, but it's nice and detailed, and the lighting's really cool. Explosions. They're just dackering away there, and I really haven't got these boarding things in. Let's bring them over there. I don't know how they're going to get there. It's going to have to try and get around with this. Or maybe it's going to smash into it, actually, because that's a spending rock. It's probably going to bat into it. Yeah, little just love tap there. And we could say you board there. Now, they should be able to do it, because what they'll do is they'll swing onto this. Yeah, there you go. Look, they'll swing onto that. Then they'll climb down, and then... Ah, we managed to destroy it anyway. Brutal takeover. There you go, and then we'll move back. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there because we've made a couple of new things and I've shown off new parts. There is a couple of other things, like there's a, a couple of mods that I wanted to show, but they haven't been uh, put in this little campaign thing. Was One's like a big bronze cannon, which was really cool. And then there's the spiders, which aren't actually mod, but they, they're one of the parts that you have to take over another area and then nick. Either way, that has been a little bit of Airships Conquer Skies. I was going to do some more of this, but I'll be honest, I'm starting to die of a cold. So it's best if I just leave it there. As always, links in the description so you can check it out yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.